Good morning everybody, how are we all doing today? Let's get into today's video! So guys, I mean everybody, can I ask one thing? Don't forget to hit that like button, the subscribe if you haven't already, and that notification bell. Yeah, and it is, a little, what day are we on? What day are we on? My mind is gone. Uh, it's Saturday, I don't know that because I'm looking at the TV and I've got it on pause because I'm watching Celebrity Help My House is Haunted. And I haven't got a clue which celebrity that is because I've never seen her before. Anyhow, so... Yesterday, I managed to get into the doctor, it's nearly killed over. Yay. I not just managed to get myself an appointment, I've got my daughter one. She's, she's been diagnosed with something and I cannot pronounce it. It's something to do with like circulation problems and when your fingers go white and oh, it's there on a piece of paper but I can't say it. <laughs> That's been dyslexic and all. It, oh God, it's so challenging. Anyhow. We're both sorted, that's amazing, we're okay. I've been given some medication for dizziness, I don't know what I've just done with it, but I've had one this, I'm not, no, I haven't had one this morning, because I've just dropped my car off to someone that's going to fix it. That car has my life. Hopefully it's not going to be an expensive one, but I hope, you know what I mean, I'd rather be fixing them in an accident. So today I thought I'd talk about, um, is it Sen? Sen? S E N with children with children and and if anyone has a child or a young adult or an adult who has autism, as Asperger's and other different learning difficulties, let me know in the comments below because here's my story. Right, so Anna is twenty four now, but a good I'd say twenty years you know when you know it's I've never I we never heard of autism back then. But I don't know why my cheeks are going no all, all of a sudden. Anyway, not heard of autism whatsoever back then. Obviously when I was younger there were children that were deaf and had difficulties and I don't know if anyone knows this but, I mean I'm forty five now, but back then the the teachers wore this like little microphone, like a necklace of so and then the children who couldn't hear had like a box on it that were attached to the hearing aids, I think it was. Might be wrong, but I just, I got the image in my head. Um, but yeah, I remember that. But I've never heard of autism. Only, and the first time I heard about it was when Hannah got diagnosed. Now, Hannah had difficulties in school, wasn't sure why, or like I said, I never heard of autism before. Teachers wouldn't help. She be sat in class, obviously, not knowing now what it is, I kind of get it. So she'd be like in high school, middle, hang on it, secondary school, not secondary school, sorry. It all changed. Because when I was younger, it was first school, middle school, and upper school. Now it's primary. So when she went primary, yeah, she struggled with friendships and certain things happened, I remember one teacher actually hurt her and I had to put a complaint in because she grabbed her and with some force and the same teacher actually got sacked I think for breaking another pupil's arm but that's a different story. Anyway, so when she came into secondary school and that's when we started noticing it a bit more, teachers were pulling me in, you know, parents evening going, she's only doing like three words in a big you got an hour, I think, per lesson. Three little words, and she'd be going into daydream. Um, that's when I think she got referred to CAMS. So this will be, she was 13, maybe, well, struggled most of her life. Only, only took him, this is heartbreaking for She I, Obviously, I failed for Hannah because she didn't realise what was going on. Her mindset was different to ours. So she ended up trying to take her own life, own alive in herself. 
and that's how she got assessed and see what happened. Obviously, the doctors know better than what I do. And then 14, 15, I think, she got to, um, started talking about autism. That's when I started researching and then when I moved back down from Scotland to England to get some support for the older two at this time. They then she got diagnosed at 16 with Asperger's selective mutism. Selective mutism is when they don't, don't talk, they don't talk if it's something that's interesting to them. She shuts down if it's, I want to talk in public, telephones. Oh, yeah. So there's that. And then we basically got told, 16, that's it, no, there's some leaflets, that's all we got. We didn't get, she didn't get offered any support or whatsoever. Uh, that was so very hard. Now, my second, my youngest, is gone through the assessment stage. She's taken five years on the waiting list to be assessed. So she's had an assessment now for autism. ADHD assessment now. We're just waiting on the results. We were meant to hear last month. And I've not been given a number for me to ring to see. Or I've not even heard up from via a letter or anything. Let me know in the comments below, guys. If you, you've got a child or an adult, young adult, who... You, are you having the same trouble who has autism or ADHD or any other learning difficulties? Do you feel like you're left, once they get a diagnosis, that's it. They don't seem to give two hoots. It's like, well, what now? What do I do? You have, to, you have to do your own research. You have to do your own this, that and the other to help provide. And with my youngest one, they would not offer uh, any support in school without a diagnosis. So she struggled for the past two years. And the reason I took her out and we'll do some homeschooling as well. And there's a bit of problems that arose. But I'm not going to get into that because there's some nosy people on my channel like to be nosy and spread gossip within the family. And you know who you are. <laughs> not, not, yeah, just family members. Yeah. So, anyhow. That being said, let me know if there's something you have tried or you've had an appointment and it's worked out for you, what support can I get for Hannah and my youngest? Hannah's 24, so she, do I have to go through adult social care to get some? But then she doesn't want anything. She just likes to sit in a room, do her knitting and do a drawing and do a diamond heart things. And that's it. I don't know. Really? I don't know. She, on her cats, she just loves being around the cats. They all, you know what? I've we've got six cats. Two of them are Hannah's. One's Olivia's. One of them were Tom's, but it's now mine. So I've got three, and they all vacate in her room. I think it's because it's so chilled and quiet. Yeah. Do you ever feel like you're being let down by social care doctors? You name it. You know what I mean? I, oh. Yeah. That being said, guys, I'm going to go. I don't know if I said guys, I mean everybody. I'm going to go because my cup of tea is going cold and I need to charge my phone. So let me know. Do you have any struggles? What have you tried that helps? Because I'm, a, I'm just sat. I haven't got a clue. Mm -hmm. I do all the research in the world and I'm still, I'm still coming back to work. Uh, yep. Yeah. Essie, come in. Still doggy sitting. And every time she hears a little dog, she jumps off that sofa and straight to the window. Oh, baby, come in here. Right, guys, see you later. Thanks again for watching. Don't forget to hit that like, the subscribe, and that notification bell. And I'll see you in the next video. Take care, enjoy the remainder of your weekend.